some civil civil organizations that are saying uh that are saying that you know what um shop must not uh, must be stopped uh Sope must not uh, uh ascend into that position where he's nominated to or uh, uh, look for look of in it's called what the jsc right uh, there's an article here guys it is written it comes from a business day it says civil society edges mp to drop Sope's nomination to the jsc mk party chief whip who was in look impeached this year is one of the controversial nominees to the body that appoints judges oh it's gonna be lit you know uh i'm sure zondo is now regretting you know what i'm saying oh now so what we should be interested at in here is the reasons why the reasons given why people shouldn't I think that's the most important question that we should, we should be asking. The question is, the real question is, why, why, and why it is a problem for him to be there? Why? There are people in this country who are serving in certain positions. Um, but look, their, their affiliation is never questioned. And let me give you another interesting question as well in this one. Uh, today you know if VPS as if it's an EFF thing. Because the media is pushing a narrative and an idea that it, the problem is EFF. So if you remove EFF from the VPS, technically you shouldn't have a problem. But now when you think of a VPS, you think of the EFF. So it should be the same. Now, there are people in parliament that are there serving in committees. It's not a problem. Because the media doesn't pay attention to them, then, you know what I'm saying? Nothing happens to them. They go unpunished. Well, I've got you covered. We'll talk about that. It's here. Uh, this article. We'll go through that. L yeah, like, let me give an example about the media. What is the media saying about the racist remarks or the derogatory terms uh, coming from Helen Zilla when he referred to uh, when he referred to black people uh, looking cases and his dogs? What is the media saying? Nothing. Where is News Twenty Four, who normally writes about Abu Zuma, who normally writes false claims saying people are happy about the government of national unity, where suddenly state says that people are the most happiest because of that thing, right? Uh, what are they saying? The Daily Maverick. What are they saying about the rem the the look the racial remarks from Helen Zilli? Nothing. So you can't trust media when they report on things because they manufacture evidence and they they incite people to act in a certain way and then says then you come and say people are acting in this way, right? Wait a minute. I wouldn't incite you to do this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay so let's go through the article written by U. it was written by ulinda enzo parliamentary correspondence six civil society organizations have written to national assembly speaker is expressing deep concerns about the possibility of impeach Josh Lope becoming one of the assembly's representative on the Judicial Service Commission, JSC. 
They have asked the parliament not look. They have asked parliament not to vote for designate Klope as a member of the JSC to protect the integrity of the JSC, the judicial appointment process, and the judiciary. The JSC nomination to fill vacancies on the bench eh, look, includes six members designated by the National Assembly and four members from the National Council of Province and four people designated by the President and Minister of Justice. The list of designated, uh, designated members include Lope, who is Chief Whip of MK Party, was on look was on the order papers of assembly on Tuesday, but ANC Chief Whip um, Dumisen Ntuli withdrew the motion of further consultation between political parties to take place. Klope was removed from his office as a judge for gross misconduct after he was found that he tried to co 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 he tried to influence. Constitutional Court Justice to decide political sensitive case in favor of former President uh, and uh, President MK Party Jacob uh, MK Party leader Jacob Zuma. Finding the finding uh, gross misconduct was made by the JSC and the courts and parliamentary impeached him. Right in the letter to Didiza Freedom Underlaw, the Council for the Advancement of South Africa Const Constitution Judges Meta. Helen Susan Foundation defend our democracy and Ahmed Katranda say Ahmed Katranda Foundation says that JSC played a central role in the appointment of judges. Now, this is there's something that I wanted to I want you to notice the nature of people that are complaining here. Now, have now here is what is funny about these people, these organizations. They they they, they have their own targets. They they complain. As long as it is a certain individuals that belongs to a certain fiction. But if it is certain people, individuals that belongs to certain fiction, they never complain. These same organizations, have you ever heard them complaining about anything related to DA? Never. Have you ever? I asked the other time when uh, Host was trending and I said, where are these organizations that are normally uh, say they are saving South Africa from this and this? Where are they? Quiet. But let there be a person from a certain side that does not agree to theirs. Then they are there saving South Africa. They are writing to rescue South Africa. It is rescue as long as it is someone that does, look, does not belong to their camp. When a person that belongs to the to their camp uh, errors, they are quiet. This is what we are seeing. Helen Zille, with the derogatory, derogatory terms, what has she been? Look, has you, look, have they said anything? They will never say anything, because it's what Helen Zille. They said, bearing in mind that extensive powers vested in the judiciary under the constitution, it is no exaggeration to say that the work of the JSE is therefore crucial to the law of South Africa and constitutional democracy in SA, they say. They noted that the JSE has been criticized often for failing to carry out its constitutional mandate properly and the court found it unlawful on several occasions. It was, it was vital that those individuals designated to serve on the JSC are themselves individuals with, uh, with a demonstrated commitment to upholding constitutional democracy, the rule, of, uh, look, the rule of law, and the independence of the judicial, they said. Uh, designating an individual of the JSC who has been uh, found by, the, uh, by everybody, look, by, uh, by the very body, in question to have committed gross misconduct and has been removed from the position as a judicial officer to play a role in the selection of other judicial officers will be completely inappropriate, the civil society organizations say in their letter to, 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 to that. Uh, it will be irrational and it is, look, it is in our view uh, susceptible to legal challenge and it will undermine public confidence in the judicial appointment processes, thereby in the judicial. Uh, they wrote, they've written quite a lot here, um, so I wouldn't go through that. My departing question is very simple. These organizations are active. 
They ask questions. They are holding people accountable. Why when certain people from a certain side does the same thing, they are not held accountable? That's just my question.